Hi guys, welcome back to the garden. If you're new here, my name is Austin and I'm a young makeup artist just doing my best. So I've been working on something pretty cool for you guys for the past week or so. I just dropped two videos on this channel of me doing first chapter readings for my books, Renaissance and Forgive Me Father. So if you guys don't know, I published Renaissance back in 2019, the spring of my junior year. It was the first book I ever published, my kind of leap into the literary world. And then Forgive Me Father is my sophomore novel that I've been working on for the past couple years or so, and hopefully will be coming to a store near you. In honor of that, I've decided to run a sale for my remaining author's copies of Renaissance. So there are 50 copies available. All of them will come signed or personalized in some sort of way. So whether you want to buy it as a gift for someone, whether you just want to get it yourself and just have, you know, a fun little message from me on there, like all of that is totally available and honestly encouraged. All right, and just on a real note, I just want to like thank everyone who has supported me in all of my creative endeavors so far. You know, Miss Nelson, who used to read all of my terrible middle school writing and saw something in me. Um, Jason, who always believed in me. Uh, Sarah, who read Forgive Me Father over and over and over again and cried multiple times just trying to pick out all the tiny little details that I put in there. And then, of course, my family, who has always supported me, and my friends and fans for just being here on this journey. Yes, I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful to have all of you. All right, just to recap. Forgive Me Father is on its way, eventually. And as a celebration, I've released the videos to the first chapters of Forgive Me Father and Renaissance, both here and here. So you can check that out in my on my channel. Also in honor of that, I'm running a sale on the last 50 physical copies of the first edition of Renaissance, the author copies that I have. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the description below. Just sign up and we can figure it out. And if you're interested in pre-ordering for Gimme Father, there's also a link down there for you to sign up for the mailing list. All right. Thank you guys so much for your support. Happy reading. Renaissance is the very first book I ever published. I published it my junior year, the end of my junior year through Kindle Direct Publishing. It was kind of my first leap into the whole publishing world, the whole literature world in general. Like I'd always written before, but I'd never done anything on this scale. Like needing, you know, cover, or, you know, I think I had a friend of mine do the photography work for this cover. I had another friend model. We spent all of Memorial Day running around to different areas with flowers, like just trying to get the best photo. And I think it turned out pretty well. All right, I will read the back for you and we can kind of start getting into it. Here begins the story of Ari and Becca, who have spent their lives in a colorless circle of waking up on the dirty streets and in crowded foster homes. Ari spends his nights on a retired mattress. Becca spends her nights staring up at the stars. Then, suddenly, they arrive in Circe, a magical world of color and liveliness. Created by the goddess Passam, the children notice the difference between the blandness of their world and the vividness of this one. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The reason they're there is to defeat the evil that's brewing in the West, the witch turned demoness Malus. Who, had taken the, who has taken the successor to the Circean throne, Princess Alina. It's Ari and Becky, Becca's duty to travel the land of Circe, to learn the magic of the north, east, south, and west so that they have the power to defeat Malus. In a world where angels, witches, and prophecies exist, and where danger lurks beyond every corner, this war is far from simple. Battles between temptation and moral rectitude are in full swing. The only question is, who will the darkness consume before it's been vanquished? We're going to be talking about Forgive Me Father. Uh, this is my second book that I have coming out, hopefully soon. I sent it into a few publishers, so I'm waiting to hear back up from them. And then, then I can start, you know, like really, really promoting it. But I decided this time we are going to be doing like just a short reading, talk about, you know, like the plot, the characters, uh, where the story kind of came from. And then uh, I'm going to be doing a little reading of chapter one for you guys to kind of you know, entice my audience, you know? All right, so let's get into it. All right, are we all comfortable? Yeah? All right, let's get into it. 
Underneath the constellations, we find Emilio and Daniel. They're just laying still, existing amongst the glittering stars on Earth, fireflies. They glow, they flicker on and off, a million shades of yellow, orange, and green. I wonder what it would be like to be one of them, Daniel said, looking over at the other boy, the pale moonlight reflected in his gray eyes, a sliver of cobalt blue shimmering brightly. A firefly, Emilio asked, meeting Gray with Brunette. Yeah, wouldn't it be amazing to be a firefly? To always show your light on the outside. What if we looked at someone and we were like, whoa, that person's blue. They must be calm and collected. Or like, wow, a green person. They must be really in tune with nature. It would be amazing to just live your true self on the outside. Let's do it, Danny. Let's be fireflies. Okay, Emmy, let's do it. Underneath the gentle glow of the starlight, the boy's fingers find each other amongst the blades of grass and hold on, their heartbeats synchronized with the steady flicker of the lightning bugs. I don't exactly know when I kind of had this idea for this story. It just came to me in the middle of the night. I'm really intrigued as a writer to not necessarily write narratives but like really emphasize like important scenes and important moments that's kind of what this novel is it's a collection of really important scenes and really important moments that feel so realistic to the individual and to the reader because we're we've all had those moments where we're with someone and it feels like you're the only two people in the universe you know